Hello. Thank you for joining me this week. I hope you're doing well. We're going to do two poems this week, starting with Margaret Avison with a poem called Rising Dust. The physiologist says, I am well over half water. I feel, look, solid, am though leaky firm. Yet I am composed largely of water. How the composer turned us out this way. Even the learned few do not explain. That's life. And we're in need of more water, over and over, repeatedly thirsty and unclean. The body of this earth has water under it and over, from where the long winds so tirelessly over water or shriek around curved distances of ice. Sky and earth invisibly breathe skyfuls of water, visible when it finds its own level. Even in me, kin to waterfalls and glacial lakes and sloths and all that flows and surges, Yet I go steadily, or without distillation, climb at will, until a dissolution nobody anticipates. I'm something else besides. The biochemist does not concern himself with this. It too seems substance a vital bond threaded on an as-if loom out there. The strand within thrums and shudders and twists. It cleaves to this color or texture and singles out to a rhythm almost its own again anticipating design. But never any of us, physiologist or fisherman or I, quite make sense of it. We find our own level as prairie, auburn, or snow streaming. Sounds forever the almost Limitless. Our next poem is The Colossus by Sylvia Plath. I shall never get you put together entirely pieced, glued, and properly jointed. Mule bray pig grunt and body cackles proceed from your great lips. It's worse than a barnyard. Perhaps you consider yourself an oracle, mouthpiece of the dead or of some god or other. Thirty years now I have labored to dredge the silt from your throat. I am none the wiser. Scaling little ladders with glue pots and pails of Lysol, I crawl like an ant in mourning over the weedy acres of your brow to mend the immense skull plates and clear the bald, white tumuli of your eyes. 
a blue sky out of the Orestea arches above us. O oh, Father, all by yourself, you are pithy and historical as the Roman Forum. I open my lunch on a hill of black cypress. Your fluted bones and acanthine hair are littered in their old anarchy to the horizon line. It would take more than a lightning stroke to create such a ruin. Nights I squat in the cornucopia of your left ear, out of the wind, counting the red stars and those of plum color. The sun rises under the pillar of your tongue. My hours are married to shadow. No longer do I listen for the scrape of a keel on the blank stones of the landing. Thank you for joining me this week, and take care of yourself. If there's anything you'd like to hear, let me know in the comments.